Linda, Sue here again from Sue's Dog Rob Mark Kitchen and I am actually at the moment, I hope you're all well, I'm going to be making an avocado mousse. So um, an avocado mousse is for low carbon and it's a really, really lovely, delicious mousse that I've made before many times. But this one is going to have a little twist because instead of just having it with the cocoa powder, this Dutch this Dutch um, cocoa powder, it says to use um, Dutch processed cocoa powder for this recipe for quite a while and it's absolutely delicious. But to add a bit of crunch to it, I'm going to be adding some cocoa nibs. I bought these online and they're organic Peruvian cocoa nibs and it's basically what chocolate is made from. So I'm going to be adding these, but first of all I'm going to crunch them up a bit and they will be added into the avocado um, and they should add a bit of crunch to it and they release cocoa, I've been reading about it, they, they release the cocoa when they're being um, blitzed basically and to make chocolate they just blitz and blitz and blitz these things and that's how they make chocolate apparently. Um, and then there's a process where to glaze it and stuff like that. But I won't go into all that. If you want to know how to make chocolate, just go and research it yourself. So I'm going to open these. I'm going to smell them. Ooh, that's lovely. It's like, it's like smelling um, cocoa. Yeah, so let me smell this because this is... This is um, really really good so I can't put them down now because I've got nothing to stand them up against. I'll just put them there for a minute so they don't fall over. Hmm. In fact that smells less than that does actually. So there. Anyway, so for this recipe you need two avocados ripe. Okay, they've got to be ripe for this recipe. So these ones feel ripe. They say they're ripe. But that doesn't mean to say they are. <laughs> But I've, they, they feel ripe to me. So you need two avocados ripe. You don't really need to take the label off because you're not going to eat the skin. <clears throat> and then you need what well, this is. But well, I'm going to use one and a quarter cups of Dutch cocoa. <laughs> so that's a cup of cocoa powder, um, the Dutch one. And we'll use this one and just take out a quarter. I do have quarter cups, but... Um, I'll just use this one. So that's about a quarter. So one cup and a quarter cup of the Dutch cocoa powder processed, okay? And then we're going to cut in half our um, avocados because we need to take the pip out. Like that. You just twist and it comes out. That's how you undo it. And then just do the other one. They are actually ripe. I can see that now. I've lost my flow. So we just cut the other one in half and then twist it and then see. And then to get the uh, pip out, it's got some of the avocado on this one. Might want to take that off because I don't want to lose any avocado. Wash it in that one for a minute. Usually they just come away clean, but this one didn't for some reason. Just put that in there a sec. And then you just bang this like so, and it comes out. You can keep the pips and you can grow them. If you dry them out, there's a seed inside. And if you and if it splits, uh, it'll start growing a shoot and you can grow these and they make a nice house plant. I haven't got any at the moment. I will keep these two. Keep that out there. Come out. It's been a fart, this one. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that word. I'll cut that bit. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. So, that's it really. It's not very difficult. And then all you do is you put together in your little blitzing machine, your food processor or whatever, your avocado with your chocolate and your sweetener. And that's it really, that's how you make avocado mousse. It's the simplest thing in the world. 
and you add some kind of milk or cream. To this, today, to be different, I'm actually going to add coconut milk instead of normal milk. It says to add normal milk, but I'm going to add coconut milk, or you can use almond milk, but I'm, I've got this coconut milk, so I'm going to actually use it today. So I'm giving it a good shake. I have to go and open it with a tin opener in a minute. Um, where's my ingredients? Okay, and vanilla essence. Um, I don't think I need to put vanilla essence in here. I think the chocolate has strong enough flavour myself. I don't think you need to add vanilla to chocolate, really. I don't think it will do much good. But first of all, I'm going to use a quarter cup of these chocolate nibs and I'm going to blitz them. Okay? That's a quarter. So we're going to use a quarter cup of nibs. There they are. There. This is what chocolate's made of. Raw. This is raw. Let's put it in our little glitzy machine and see what it looks like. I've never used them before, so this is the first with the chocolate nibs. I just like to try different things. So I basically turn into chocolate. Alright, oh, turns into chocolate powder. There we are. And if you keep going, oh, it smells different. And if you keep going, and it's more grainy. So there we are. I've turned it into actual chocolate powder. So that is your cocoa powder, basically. And it's more grainy. And we're just going to add it to that. So there'll be a few little crunchy bits in this. Mm. Oh, it tastes good. Like whole bits of crunchy chocolate. It's not that strong, the taste. Mm. That's lovely, I love it. Yeah, I like it. So, we've got our quarter of a cup of chocolate nibs that we've ground up. And you could make it finer than that, but I think it's nice with a with a few crunchy bits in, but you can also eat them just like that. You can eat them just out the bag. And they make mm, just chocolate chips. They're really nice. Hello again. So in here we're gonna tip in our avocado, okay? So we've got our avocado here and we're just gonna tip it in here and scoop it all out and tip it in here. That's it. I think actually what I'm going to do at the end is just tip some of the chocolate chips, nibs, and put them on top of the avocado mousse as a dressing. I think that would be really lovely actually. And then I'm just going to do all that to the avocados. I'll be back in a minute once I've done them all. I'm actually going to put an egg in my um, avocado mousse. Hello again. So I'm going to put an egg in my um, chocolate avocado mousse only because I'm, I want it to be more nourishing. So if you put an egg in it, it'll be a lot more nourishing. So I'm going to put in the one cup of cocoa processed um, Dutch process powder and the other one and then I'm going to put the egg in and to that I will add coconut milk which I've got here. I've got open this tin of coconut milk. I'm so I've got this big lumps in here. I've only added the egg because I, I like egg in my avocado mousse. It doesn't say to add an egg in it. And if you don't want to have raw egg, then obviously don't add it. But um, I like it. It makes it have a bit more filling. Um, and it's really nice. Tastes good. Hello again. Sue here from Sue's Dog on My Kitchen. And the gadget I was going to use for this job, it wasn't up to the job. Okay, so I've had to transfer everything into the blender. 
Okay, so there was a little bit of a disaster there. So I put it all in that little gadget and it wasn't big enough, so it didn't work. So never mind, these things happen. So I've transferred it all now to the blender. So we're going to do it from this, okay? So I'm going to, it looks like I might need to add some more milk to it because it looks like it's uh, quite thick. So I've opened another tin of coconut milk. I've already used one. And obviously it's quite creamy, isn't it, coconut milk? It's got big little lumps in it. So I just want the liquid. So I'm just going to tip the liquid in there and get it going. I'm just going to also put some of the maple syrup in for our sweetener. And I was going to just use like, um, uh, how much should we use? A quarter, half a cup of um, maple syrup. Okay, you can put whatever sweetener you want, but this is natural, so I wanted to use all natural sweeteners. So, obviously, this is pure, 100% pure maple syrup from Canada, Canadian. And then I'm just going to put in our cocoa nibs powder now. And you know what I think would be really nice? I just spotted some orange. So I have some orange here and I'm going to actually zest it yes, into the mixture. I think that would be lovely. I do think chocolate orange is gorgeous, so good. So chocolate orange avocado mousse. Delicious. With coconut milk. I'm always just thinking on my feet. So this is me. This is what I do all the time. And I just make up recipes out of my head. And just think, oh, I'm going to put that together today. So I'm just going to put the orange in. And then we'll put a bit of the, um, we'll just cut this in half. Give it a squeeze. Cut it in half. And then I'm just going to use my hands like I do with lemons. Just squeeze all the juice into there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just saw the oranges on there. I just thought, oh, I'm going to use that for this. So, there. So there's the orange. So I'll just wash up my hands. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so... Let's try again in here, shall we? Here it goes. Wish me luck. Looks like it needs help already. Oh, this is a lot better consistency than before. It's just quite a messy job. <laughs> oh, so yummy. Oh my god. Can't wait to eat this. Just gonna whisk it one more time. Hello again, Sue here from Sue's Dog Broth Mind Kitchen. Just gonna show you the finished product of the avocado mousse that we made. So I'm just going to tip it into some glasses now because then you're going to put, transfer it to the fridge and let it set. Remember this is very um, filling because I've put an egg in it as well. You don't need to put the egg in if you don't want to um, but it will be quite a filling dessert. Okay. So usually I find I can get four desserts out of one pot with the ratio of ingredients that I told you. Um, so I can get four desserts, so that's two days worth of desserts. Or if you've got four people in your family, then obviously that's one dessert each. But there's only me and my partner, so this will be two days worth of desserts. So we'll be having this today and tomorrow. So yummy, yummy, yummy. Two days worth of very nutritious 
chocolate, avocado, mousse, with orange. I put orange in as well. So it's got orange zest in it and orange juice from the orange. And it's got cocoa nibs. We made it with cocoa nibs, so we're going to sprinkle some cocoa nibs on the top as well. I think this pot is so hard to get the stuff out. So, I'm just going to sprinkle some chocolate nibs on the top, give it a nice crunch, and that's it. So, yummy, yummy. Shame you're not here to try one with us. Never mind. You can make them yourself at home. So, these are delicious. So if you want a chocolate snack, buy yourself some of these online. Okay, buy some chocolate nibs, pure chocolate, no artificial ingredients whatsoever at all, raw, and you just eat it. Break if you like dark chocolate, but it's not very strong. And it's got a really nice taste. This is Peruvian. Really, 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 really nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. And I hope I showed you something a bit different that you can do. And, you know, just because you're on a, a low-carb diet doesn't mean to say you have to have boring food, okay? You do not have to have boring food. I've got up several recipes now for you to try that to make your life a bit more interesting and spice it up a bit. You can also put a dollop of cream on these, but I haven't got any cream. I've only got single cream, um, but you can't whisk that up, so I could only get that this week. So I can't really put cream on it, but otherwise I would put a dollop of cream on there and then put the chocolate nibs on top of that. Mm, yummy, yummy. But anyway, or you can grate some orange rind and put some orange zest on the top as well, because remember I put orange in these. So. I hope you enjoyed my video today and if you did please give me a thumbs up and please tell your family and friends about my channel please subscribe to my channel um, and if there's any comments that you have then put them below and if you want to know the ingredients to any of the recipes that I do please ask in that particular video and I will put the recipe up for you if you can't follow along with it because um, I do jump from all over the place sometimes and like today I added orange into this and it wasn't at the beginning of the video but I just decided to change it up a little bit okay it's good to change things up you know because this is baby coconut milk as well I put an extra egg in there to give it to make it even more filling it's really filling the difference between a um, homemade dessert and a shop bought one is massive there's no comparison between shop-bought desserts and homemade. They, homemade desserts are so much more filling and you could just eat this for a snack because that will be so, so filling. Uh, we're just gonna have these little ones today, I think. Oh, actually, no, we'll have the big one because we're, we're only having a very small dinner today. Okay then, so thank you for watching and um, keep an eye out for my next video. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying all my videos and I'll keep on making them for you. So bye for now. Bye.